Nolan. A top rap star is busted. Jay-Z turned himself in tonight and the cops started working on his rap sheet, accusing him of, of a stabbing at a trendy party. Kimberly Richardson is at Midtown South right now. Kimberly. Well, Rosanna, just a few hours ago, police here at Midtown South arrested Sean Carter, better known as Jay-Z. The rap star voluntarily turned himself in here at the precinct earlier this evening. Now, Carter is being held here in connection with that stabbing fight that erupted at the Kit Kat Club last night. But just a few moments ago, Carter's attorney had this to say. He's not involved in this, period. He was at the club? That's my only comment. He wasn't involved in this. So it was someone else that did the stabbing and I, the hitting? I, I, don't, I didn't say that. I said he was not involved in it. Now Slovis goes on to say that at no time was Jay-Z hiding from the police, that they were in touch with cops all day and that they're trying to resolve this as gentlemen. But as Mike Sheehan shows us, Others say they've seen the dark side of Jay-Z. I have my faults. You know, I'm not a perfect person. Rap star Jay-Z spoke with Fox 5 exclusively just a few weeks ago during a photo shoot for the cover of January's issue of Source magazine. I don't want people to think that it's just everything is bounce, bounce, or can I get a hard knock life, you know what I mean? I have my dark days also, you know. Detectives in Midtown say that last night allegedly was one of his darkest. Cops say the hip-hop star was fingered in a stabbing inside a packed nightclub. Just about 11.30 last night when rap star Jay-Z, surrounded by his usual entourage, strolled into the Kit Kat Club here on West 43rd Street. Once inside, he had a confrontation with record producer Lance Rivera. Cops say the argument heated up during a party celebrating a new release by rapper Q-Tip. Jay-Z and his crew surrounded the 33-year-old Rivera and his 29-year-old brother Corey. Witnesses say that Jay-Z allegedly plunged a knife into Rivera's stomach and smashed a bottle over his brother's head before running out of the club. I'd like to talk to you about what happened here last night? I wasn't here last night. This is not the first time Jay-Z, whose real name is Sean Carter, has been involved in a club brawl. Marcus Delgado knows all too well, and he still sports the scar to prove it. Accidentally, I was pushed into Jay-Z, um, where he turned around and just hit me with a, a bottle over the head. and. Uh, his whole entourage, I mean, about 30 guys, jump, proceeded to, you know, jump me, hit me with tables and so forth and so on. Delgado never reported the assault to cops until today. Now he's sorry. He's just a punk, man, and it, didn't, it did not surprise me when, when I heard it this morning. You know, I was like, wow, another one? Had I stepped up um, in 98 when he did this to me, on wouldn't have gone through what he gone, uh, went through last night. Uh, yeah, he does have to serve some time to humble him. From Midtown, Mike Sheehan. Fox 5 News. Now, in terms of what happened at the Kit Kat Club last night, at this point, Jay-Z has not been charged. They're waiting word from the DA's office on that. In the next couple of hours, he's expected to be moved downtown. We're live in Midtown. Kimberly Richardson, Fox 5 News. Mario, back to you. All right.